Shaker for that. Hey. Welcome to Pillow Talk with the T. Hey. And I'm Ash. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up, Kwa? Girl, I ain't even going to say that much. Hey. <laughs> Listen, I'm 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 good. I'm good. That's what's up, life. Moody, go back there and um close his door because he being real rude. Qua, what's going on? What is the tea? This. You can hear me? Can you hear me or see me? I can hear you and see you. Can you hear me and see me? Oh shit. I done I done had you on mute. I'm sorry. Hold up. Let me take this off mute. Can you hold up? Yo, Wait. You... <laughs> Let's pause for on one second. I done had my damn um thing on mute the whole time. By being on mute, I don't know if I can hear you or you can't hear me. I'm just all messed up in the game right now. I was hearing everything you were saying, even though you had me on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you like my hair? So what's going on this evening? A I lot. Do. I like that. Thank you. You know what I did? I went and bought this ponytail, right? And I don't have no perm. Only thing I did was just wash my hair today. I conditioned my hair today. And what else I did? I just washed it and I conditioned it. And then I just do this ponytail on top. I haven't had a perm in my hair in years. Um, and once I stopped like permanent, like my natural texture, it just started mm -hmm. coming, you know, started coming back in. So I just figured you like, you know what? I'm not even gonna perm my hair no more. Cause if I can throw it up in a ponytail for free, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I can buy this little piece for hardly nothing. So I'm just, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do in this heat, for real. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, me. Yes, honey. You going to whip that pony tail? <laughs> I swear my hair back and forth. I swear my hair back and forth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm, girl. Oh, God. So how Yo, was your I, day today? How your day been? I've been late all day today, girl. I've been late all day today. Because, it's the like, show. It's true. It's true. today is, like, literally my day. Like, like literally. So. So, it's basically literally a celebration. Boom. Listen, like. Um, yeah, of course I will call it a celebration because I know for a fact that I'm blessed and highly favored. Like, I've been knew that. I've been knew that for years. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to doubt that. Okay. She so, you know, when you breaking up, you breaking up. Let me just say, let me. Just let me just say this, right? 
<laughs> Before you start saying anything, you're breaking up. Yeah, so Ash will be right back, you guys. It's, listen, tonight is going to be the night. Tonight is the night. Tonight is a beautiful night. Tonight, I don't, it's not even a full moon, but it's a, it's a time in a place where, baby, life is good. Life is excellent. Life is amazing. Oh. Yes. Yes, I'm back. I hope <laughs> nothing happens. Cause everybody in my house right now is we all under the same Wi-Fi. We all under the same thing. So I hope I don't break up anymore. Are you gotcha. saying something or are you just taking a while? Just so what's going on? Is it me? I'm basically listening to you now. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I look if I say it's probably the delay. If I say qua, I say hello. So I can know whether I'm delayed or not. Qua. Hello. Qua. <laughs> hello. Okay, so yeah, I guess we like a couple of minutes delay. <laughs> Let me get my message out today. Let me get my message out to the people before I won't be able to do that shit. Before the Wi-Fi fuck up. So look, today was my day all day today. Today was my day all day today. Anyway, today is, today is my day all day every day. So I'm basically going to get on here and tell you, you know, I'm feeling good because I feel like God has answered my prayers. I've been lost, okay? A lot of people won't even admit that they've been lost, but I'm letting you know, I I was lost for quite a while. So I started to shed tears and I was like, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't even get on my knees because I know no matter where I'm at, no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, any I could be in a supermarket, it doesn't matter. If I need to call on God and I need to tell him something, I'm going to call on him and I'm going to tell him something. And I don't care where I'm at. I don't need to get on my knees for him to hear my prayers and my cry and my call to see exactly what, you know, how I'm feeling or what I need to be done. And people always say, oh, you know, you shouldn't spread your business on you know, social media or whatever. Let me tell you something. Fuck you. Okay. Because I can tell anybody what the fuck is going on in my life. I can tell anybody what God has done for me. Where he, where he, where he me from what he is doing for me. I can do that because this is me. Yeah. And this is my motherfucking life. And excuse the profanity of what I'm saying, but I'm just going to let you know right now. Like, like God is answering my prayers. He's my call. Now they always say, and I, he might not come on time, but he's gonna come on time. He's not gonna come right when you want him, but he's going to come on time. Yeah. So this story that amazes me is because yes. Like yesterday, I'm going to repeat this. I was in tears and I asked God, I said, I'm going to know what my purpose is right now. I basically just lost my purpose. 
I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. And tell me what is this it is such, that I'm this doing is such a good, down here? This, what do you need to do? Like, am I supposed to be here? And I need you to take that away from me. Yesterday. This is such a good message, but you are so breaking up so bad. You, you know really what? Are. One second. to try to stop this message from getting out. I'm not going to do that because the devil is always working. Always working. Ooh, I don't know what happened to my own um, You know who he is? Why you got to... Got to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Amen to that. You just hearing that? I don't even hear you no more. You guys have to apologize for our technical difficulties. All right. I don't even see. So you guys have to apologize for our technical difficulties. We are definitely, definitely have an important message. We have something that's major that people need to hear. We have something messages. We have um, that messages that needs to be heard, messages that need to be told. So we do truly apologize for the um, technical delays. Um, but listen, we are gonna get it out there because no matter what. It's going to be said. It's going to be told. It's going to be heard. I'm on live. Yay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is going to be heard. Yes, it is. Now, once I get my little camera set up the way how I need to be having it set up. Let me see. How can, can I rotate this a little bit? Can I? I'm on. You got it together, girl. Yeah, am I together? Is it yeah. on? Am I on live? Okay, you know what? Because, see, the devil is a lie. The devil really is a lie. Right. And you know what? I'm on. You can hear me? Mm hmm. Okay. I can hear you nice and clear. <laughs> so, like I was saying, the devil is a lie. And you know what? He always trying to strike and trying to have his way so that I can't get my message out there. But you know what, devil? You're a liar and you're not going to get it. And guess what else? Like, I am going to share my message. And that's why I had to switch platforms because I'm going to give it out here to the people. I don't care what you say. And yes, I can talk about religion on my podcast because it is my podcast. And I can do what I want. And I can say what I want. It's my podcast. Now, if you don't believe in the same believer that I don't believe in, then that's on you. I'm not going to, I don't care what God you serve because it's all the same. We all under one God. We all just have our own different culture. We have our own different way of praising him. We do it in all different ways. That's fine. I don't care about that. But what I will say 
and you worship the devil and you don't like what I'm about to say, then that's your problem. That's all I'm going to say. But I am going to get my message out here today. Yes, I am. Now, I don't care about, like, because my thing was messing up or whatever, and usually don't mess up when it's only just two of us. But today, baby, you best to trust and believe that I'm going to say my piece, and I'm going to say my piece. But anyway, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by the um the Wi-Fi, why you asked me how much? <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> what is funny? You heard before I was rudely interrupted by the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I was rudely so, interrupted by the Wi-Fi. So as I did ask, I asked how was so I did ask, I asked, how was your day so far today? So I had a lit day all day today. My day has been lit and I'm still lit and I'm going to always be lit because like I was saying that I had asked Scott, right? So I, I think I was hurt last time, but I'm going to just say like literally yesterday. Now people say that God don't come when you want him. But he come on time. Mm -hmm. And yesterday must have been a 911 emergency call. And he must have been like, oh, baby girl, all I'm doing, when you when you say the word, I'm going to answer you. That's, that must be what he was saying. Because yesterday, I didn't, I didn't get on my knees. I didn't get in a corner. Only thing I did, I sat on my bed and I had my back linked up against my headboard. And I cried, like tears just came out my eyes. And I said, God, I don't know what my purpose is anymore. I need you to lead me. And I need you to tell me, what is it that you want me to do? What is my purpose? What's going on? I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So yesterday. Yesterday mm -hmm. was my cry. Yesterday was my prayer. Yesterday was my call, and he came on time. Now, that must have been a 911 emergency call because usually if I say a prayer, I won't get it on time, but I will get a timeline of how things going to play out, and I will go through it, and I will walk through it, and I will hit the obstacles, I will hit the trials, I'll hit the tribulations, I'll hit all of that before I get to where I need to go. So by the time I get there, I'm already humble enough, I'm already stable enough, I'm already where I need to be. But for some reason, yesterday was a 911 call because I cried um, and I was like, I need you to tell me what what is it? I'm losing my purpose. Okay, yesterday. So today, I get an answer to my call. Out the blue moon. Unexpectedly. And I was like, you mean for me? Mm -hmm. I was like, you mean for me? I mean, it was like, yeah, for you. And I was like, oh, okay. So quiet, you know, mm -hmm. I was like, you know, you know how I had already called. I was like lit, you know, like I've really been lit, like literally all day because people always say to me, like when I, when I tell my business on Facebook, like how I'm doing good or how I'm conquering, you know, how something has went well for me, you know, let's just say I got something and I'm putting it on Facebook, Instagram. I would usually get calls from family or friends say, why you putting your business on Facebook? That's not for everybody to know. Well, I'm here to tell you that's for every mother. That's for everybody to know. I don't want to mix profanity with Christianity. I don't want to mix profanity with God. But what I'm going to say, that's for everybody to know. God wants me to tell my story. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell my story. Because I've been through a lot in my yeah. life. I had a lot of downs. I had a lot of downs in my life. 
but I had I also had a lot of highs in my life. So I had a lot of lows and I had a lot of highs. And so I would get on Facebook like, oh, I got this house. Oh, I got this car. Oh, I got this job. All my kids is doing this. They doing that. People like, why are you telling Facebook? That's nobody's business. You shouldn't be telling people your business. So, I just got to tell how my God serves for me. And I serve for him. And I know that mm-hmm. I'm blessed and highly favored. And he must have been waiting on me yeah. to cry out and ask him, what is it that I'm here for? Am I losing myself? What's my goal? He must have been waiting on my call because 911, just like 911, I woke up this morning and I got a direct answer. No questions asked. No questions asked. Yeah. Luke, in the Bible, Luke 8, Luke 8, 39, he said, return home and tell people in the land what God has done for you. Now that is Luke 8 39. You go look it up for yourself. Return back to the land and tell everybody what God has done for you. You don't have to hide that. You don't have to um sugarcoat that. What somebody done for you. Yeah. What God done for you. You need to tell mm-hmm. people if I have a Mercedes Benz truck outside, I'm putting it on live and I'm going outside and I'm going. Put it on live and I'm telling everybody, yes, God has blessed me. I got this truck and that's that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm on this podcast right now and I'm sharing yeah. what God has done for me. He answered my prayers and I'm coming back. And I'm telling the land, yes, he has answered my prayers. Yes, I'm happy. And yes. Yes, it was a 911 call. I know it was a 911 call for a fact because who gets the answer the next day after you pray? Who? Yeah. Like, literally, like, this is a testimony for me yeah. to tell. This is te- really a testimony for me to tell because yeah. usually people won't get and it's it. Only, and it's only right. And it's only right for you to be able to actually rejoice and actually share in the fact of your blessing. Just like you even sat there and say, when things happen, you're supposed to go back to the land. You're supposed to also to tell what God has done for you. And my thing is, see, whatever you choose that you want to expose of your life, that's up to you. You are the you you are the controller and the ruler of your life in regards to what you choose to put out there and what you choose not to put out there. And right. if you want to put things happy out there, then you sit and you want to do it. So I do understand what the other family members saying in regard to the fact of why you want to put that on there because they feel like certain things should be sacred in regards because because what I what they probably saying is when you put things out there, people could pray against it. Meaning not P R A Y P R E Y. So I definitely understand what they mean, but my saying social media is supposed to be a place where you could be able to come together and you can not only connect and communicate with people but also put up there when things are happening are happening good in your life to share these things amongst your friends your family members that's far away that's near and people that you meet across the world so you could choose to put put it on in whatever because you already know i'm an open book i don't I don't follow nobody's rule but my own. Right. I'm saying I believe in God. But at the same time, I also have my own way that I'm gonna do things. So I'm I'm like I just don't care in regards to what nobody said. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Don't tell me what I shouldn't do because it it cripples you to the fact of um why why you shouldn't do it. Why shouldn't you rejoice? Why shouldn't you praise amongst your your voice and shout out loud and say hallelujah and tell what God has right. done for you? Why shouldn't you? I should rejoice and be glad in it. 
I should rejoice and be glad and so because like okay, so like Matthew six four, right? Matthew six four. If mm -hmm. I could recall, I remember it said when you do good deed for people, don't brag. As the Bible would say, don't boast. Don't boast about it. So, like, people do mm -hmm. stuff. They give to the homeless. They put it all on Facebook, Instagram. They showing everybody what they did for people. Okay. If I was to say, me, Ashley Brown, I have done something for people. If I was to say, I gave money to charities, I'm not saying I did. I'm not putting any business out there. But, but if I was to say that I've done these things, people look at me like I'm stupid. Like, bitch, you lying. Mm -hmm. You ain't do none of that shit. You never put a clothes on homeless people back. You never. But put why would they? Why would they say that you lying? You why know would why? they say you lying? Why? why would they? Why would they even fathom the door? Because the world that we live in today, they used to everybody bragging about what they do for people. Judgment to Nobody never ever seen me go Facebook live and mm -hmm. what I had done. Nobody never seen me go Instagram. Nobody never seen me screenshot. Nobody never seen me take a picture. Nobody never seen me do any of them things. That's why they would say I'm lying because the world we live in today, you mm -hmm. gotta have for people to actually believe that you. But see, the type of person that I am. I don't need to show you shit on what I do because you nobody you 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 don't call what my life is. Mm -hmm. You don't get to or what I'm doing or what I'm doing or how I'm living or what I'm going to drive and what schools I'm putting my kids in. What's going to be in my bank account? What type of job I'm going to have? What type of house I'm going to live in? What type of vacations I'm going to take? You don't tell me that. God tells me that. I don't have to put on Facebook or social media. I don't have to do none of that stuff. I don't have to show nobody if I do or yeah. what I do because it's none of your business. But I, but what I will tell you, because mm -hmm. Matthew says don't boost or brag about what you do for people, because guess what? When you do it in private, he going to bless you in public get blessed in public so god gonna show all your enemies all your hate amen yeah i took ashley to the supervisor level i gave ashley a house and mercedes i gave it to her her son gonna make it in the pros yes because everything ashley went out and did or whatever she do if she ever do anything i don't know Whatever the case may be, she's a strong believer. She blessed. She highly favored. She come to me. She talked to me. This is this this is one of my favorites. I love her. I'm blessed. Cry out. Then I gotta answer my baby. That's what I feel like. How God be talking to me. I feel like I'm His baby. I feel like I mm -hmm. He was like, I'm a bless you. I'm a bless you. Because I see you trying. And I see how people be trying to use you. I see how people be trying to manipulate you. I see how people be trying to take your kindness for weakness. And baby girl, I don't want you there. That's not for you. That's mm. not your life. I mean, I'm about to take you from where you at. And I'm about to, I'm about to bring mm -hmm. you to better things. Because, baby girl, you done lost yourself. And I wasn't expecting you yeah. to do that when I sent you somewhere. When I sent you somewhere, I wanted you to prosper. I wanted you to grow. I wanted you to become the best woman 
that I imagine you for you to be. But where I put you at, you became weak. I can just hear him telling me these things like you became weak. Your low self, your, your self-esteem became low. Yeah. You thought that no, like you thought that you wasn't good enough. Yeah. You thought that you wasn't smart enough. Mm -hmm. I telling me these things like that, but you mm -hmm. like, I'm big of you. I'm bless you. You one of my favorites. You always pray to me. You always come to me. And I already <laughs> that sometimes when you don't pray to me, and sometimes when you me, sometimes when you don't go to church. Sometimes when you don't read your Bible, I know you're slacking. At the end of the day, I'm always in your mind. I'm always right here. Yeah. So that one little two-minute cry that I had. As long as, two minute cry as, long as, as you... Go ahead. Long as you, keep, long as you keep him in your heart, that's... <laughs> Long as you keep him in your heart, that's the main important goal. And my thing is, we he know he have not created none of us equal. I mean, I'm sorry, he have not created none of us perfect. He did not create us as to be perfect, and we we all got flaws. He even had flaws himself. That's why basically he died on the cross for our sins, knowing the fact that we knew we was going to commit sins when we got into and created into this life. So the thing is that you may sit there and we all been through it. We all have that moment in that season and that time when we get to feel weak, when we feel like we lost, when we feel like we don't have nowhere to go, when we feel like we may be alone, when we feel like we not smart enough, when we, we have those moments. But the thing is, with the fact is that you also want we're going to have our moments when we also when we down. But the most important out of all those things is the fact that he see you get up. That's the most, sac that's the sacrifice. That's the, that's the power. That's the strength. That's the motivation. Is if you, we going we gonna to fall down. Come on. What's um Donnie McCurtain? He sung a song about it. We may fall down, but yes. we will get up. Yes. Amen. Period. Yes. So that's that's the that's the process and the success in that is actually you getting up when you get up that's the strength that's the power that's the undefeatedness of you get so but when you stay down then that you're being defeated that you're staying weak but the thing is as long as you you got that power and that belief and that faith in god and he will seek seek you through all things and everything that's all that has to be, and you have to do the rest. See, the thing is, people have to realize God going to do half. He's going to do everything. The rest is up to you. The rest is for you to do. Right. And, it just, and my thing is, also, when you do get them lonely moments, when you do get them weak moments, when you get them times when you feel like you by yourself or you're not smart enough, I guarantee you, like you say, you hear the voices. And he 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 speaking to you. He's speaking to you because he letting you know you are smart, you are kind, you are you are giveable, you are a person of 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 a great magnitude. I created you for a reason. You know, you just you just tap into the the, the potential of what it is. That's all it is. Don't get me to start preaching on here, girl. No, get to start preaching, honey. Get to start preaching because I had I had already started and you can finish it if you want. Because I don't care. People say, Noah, don't use your podcast for religion. Don't use your podcast for racism. Don't lose you. you listen. I don't care. I'm I'm not, I don't really believe in like discriminating or mm. talking about people whatever they believe in that's on them but what I will say I'm going to use my yeah. podcast to do what Luke Luke 839 said return back to the land and tell the people what God has done for you 
And even in the past, what he's done for me, people can believe. They was like, what? You you where? How do how you get there? Well, when did this happen? Um, mm. It happened because God oh. told me it was time for me to move. He said it's time for you to get your ass up. It was your time. It was your time. Okay. Go from point A to B. I need you to go from point A to B. And when you get to B, I'm going to need you to see your way to C. So I believe what happened to me was I got to B. I reached C. But I can't get to D. I got lost somewhere in the past. And I start feeling all these type of emotions all in one day. I was lost, Qua. Qua, I was lost. Yeah, you, I was, what it is, you stumble. You know what I'm saying? You, you stumble. That's all it was. The thing is, nothing is promised or nothing was promised that anything going to be smooth. When you go through your journeys in life, he ain't say that it's going to be smooth. It's going to be smooth selling. It's going to be perfect. You're going to have stumbles. But when you stumble, you get the fuck up and you keep moving. That's true. That's, true. That's it. That's all. And then now that, let me also, let me touch on something that you also said as well. My thing is, people always saying what somebody shouldn't do. Let me tell you something. Knowledge is power. People, educate yourself on the fact of what you saying that shouldn't be done. Don't sit there and tell somebody what somebody shouldn't do or how somebody shouldn't use their platform and their podcast for hours. You cannot sit there and tell somebody what they should or shouldn't do in regards of using their platform. And, and podcast. I'm gonna put it out there. Podcast is me and Ashley podcast. It started as me and Ashley podcast. We invited my sister in as a, a third host. At the end of the day, the LLC that's on this podcast is Ashley Brown and Crimea Burgess. So what we choose to speak about is what we choose to fucking speak about. <laughs> and if you want to do research, please do research because if you want to do podcast you will see this many different religion podcasts that actually talk about religion all day every day throughout their podcasts right. so there's nothing said that you can't talk about whatever you choose you want to talk about especially religion now if we know if we talk about religion there may be some backlash but listen that backlash on the little ass fish to me i'm going to end up I, I said that it came across the big, 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 big fish in my life. And the little fish that will come after me on my platform and my DMs on my messenger going to be little ass fish. So if you am correct. But my thing is don't tell nobody what they can't do. But we're going to definitely keep speaking on the word of God and we're going to keep speaking on the word of what he does have done and what he's going to continue to do for her and me and, and the rest of our family. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Tell me about it. Cause I just see things Tell. so <laughs> And I, I just really... You know yeah. what it is? You get older. You huh? get older. And when you you get older to the fact that you start to see things clear. You get older to the fact you start to see things more clear. clear. And you're not being basically um, I won't say manipulated or controlled being um, the smoke is not being blown up your ass anymore because you're not being allowed the smoke to be blown up your ass. So you're starting to see it clear your way. Instead of seeing it through the glass eyes of other people's eyes, you start to see the the, eye, the the glass, your vision, your own eyes, your own direction, your own. Right. Because, you know, even throughout my whole life, even as a young girl, I 
was born and raised in so I always knew that prayer was my only way to go like whatever it was it can be anything I already knew that nothing's gonna be done unless I ask the father I pretty much knew that like all my life I can ask my mother for the yeah. thing that came out but I still got to ask the father, like, can you make a way so my mom can make enough money so that I can get this phone that I want? Or can you make a way that my mom can have enough money so that she can give me this sneaker that I want? So I always knew, being brought up in church, that my last... Whatever it was that I wanted, I had to mm -hmm. pray for it. I, 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 so, I just say, being at who I am and, and where I am right now, um, I basically had to pray. I'm lazy. Yes, I am. Sometimes I don't even feel like getting on my knees. Sometimes I don't even feel like praying to so God knows who he, he know who I am. He know I'm lazy. He know I like to do a lot of stuff. So if I if I if I'm in the supermarket, if I'm in my car or wherever I'm at, God, I need you right now because things ain't going right with me. Just like what happened to me yesterday. I, I was in my. I kind of got on my lazy self on my. And I could have knelt down and pray, but I was literally in the bed and I was like, God, I don't know where I'm going right now. I have lost my purpose. I'm gonna need you to help me. And if this thing I'm gonna need you to help and yeah. he saw that I was in major trouble. I was in major fire. I was in major shit. Put it like that. He seen that so she's in major shit. Let me see this girl. And that's what he did. So a lot of times, like, yup, his on time may not be your on time. So, like, he'll show up before things get worse. Or he'll show up before things go or get planned the way how it shouldn't go or get planned he's gonna show up i don't even care if it's six months from now he's gonna show up but i don't know what happened last night like yesterday yesterday must have been a 911 call because he sure did was like you know what this girl is some major shit. let me get and god don't even curse this is just my work <laughs> how i'm related to the world because People can understand me on what the hell I'm saying. Like, oh. See, that's just the devil. That's all it is. But I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, so. you like, just yo, the this girl is some major stuff. Let me stop cursing. Because maybe by me cursing, that must be Satan having me curse. But he's probably like, this, let me see. Ashley is in some major stuff. Let me go and get this girl. Because. Let me get this girl because right now she ain't in her right state of mind. And I'm going to just be honest with it. Like, I don't care if anybody out there, like, you need some inspiration. Because, Kwa, I'm telling you, it's going to be somebody. It's going to be somebody out there tonight, tomorrow, two days from now, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. They are going to need this testimony. They're going to be listening. They're going to need it. They're going to be like, you know what? Let me just go listen to what Ashley said. Because I feel like for some reason, this girl, I just feel like for some reason, this girl is going to take me to where I need to go. Like somebody's going to need to hear this. I'm just saying, because I'm not going, I'm, I do need to stop cursing. Um, 
excuse my profanity. That's just the way I talk. I need to stop. But I'm just putting it out there. So I had to put that out there today. I really had to put that out there today. That's why I said this is a 911. When I hit you up, I'm like, look, this is 911. This is emergency. I need to put this message out there. I need to put this message out there. And you know what? Let me tell you something else before we conclude what we got going on today. Mm-hmm. My mom, right? I was on the phone with my mother. Yeah. Today. So my mom was like, you know what, Ashley, um, you kind of gifted. it. So I had forgot about the whole scenario that she was basically about to tell me. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, gifted. She was like, yeah. She was like, um, do you remember the time when I was in your house? Um, and you woke up and you start screaming and crying in your sleep. And, and to be honest with you, Kwa, I forgot all about this. I forgot this even happened. Mm. My mother was like, do you remember the time when you were sleeping and I had to run in your room and you were crying and screaming? So I was like, what she talking about? She was like, when I was at your house, you woke up, you were crying and screaming and you said God came to you and he told you um, to go out into the land and you need to tell people to start believing in him mm -hmm. that to follow him, they need to stop following the devil. So I was like, oh yeah, I remember that dream. I said, I, I remember that. I remember that dream. So she was like, um, did you know that dream was, um, God giving you some type of gift. He was talking to you. Mm. All right. So basically what happened in the dream was I was in my old apartment. I was young. I was a young girl. I could remember because I was looking outside the windows of the projects. Mm -hmm. And when I looked down, I saw a whole bunch of demons. It was, it was all beige, all beige beige off-white beige snow but it wasn't snow it was sand it was it was it was raining sand mm. raining sand and i saw nothing but um devils and demons downstairs and they would look up at the window and they smiled their teeth was all like crazy yeah all like crazy looking and um you know what? If I go back on my Facebook page, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repost what I put on Facebook. I'm going to try to repost it on our page. Mm -hmm. The same night I had the dream. I'm going to try to repost it on our uh, podcast page. Okay. And, and what happened was I saw the, when, when the lady, when, when the women looked up at me, there were demons and they was devils and, and they were like smiling and laughing, but it wasn't funny. Mm. So I looked up in the sky, I was in the window. I look up in the sky and I saw this. It was like the most beautiful, beautiful image I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even going to lie to you. Wow. And it was in I'm just going to say it was what Jesus looked like. Because mm -hmm. what it was, it was this light and it was Jesus up there. And I've never told you this story before. And the reason why I never told you because I forgot. Gotcha. It was never in my head. I forgot this happened to me. And so my mother told me earlier today, she reminded me. And I got proof of it because it's on my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So... I saw this um beautiful image and God was like, he said to me, he said, I'm telling you, tell people that they need to follow me. I want them to believe in me and stop doing the devilish work that y'all down there doing. Mm. 
So I woke up screaming. I'm all crying. I'm hysterical. My mother ran in the room, and you know my mother because she old and she heavy set. <laughs> and she limping in the room. She said, what's going on? What's going on in here? I said, I just had this dream, and I was crying. I was all crying, crazy. And she was like, and I was, and I told her, I said, God told me to tell everybody to stop doing the devil's work, and he want them to follow him. I can't. Yeah. I mean, guess what happened? Guess what happened after that dream? What happened? COVID came out a month later. Everybody start dying. Wow. I got the proof. When I, I'm gonna look on my page, I'm going to my timeline, and I must, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a screenshot it, I'm a share it, and I'm putting it on our page, and it's gonna relate to this message. Everybody, people should start dying. Drop it. Drop it like flies. But he had already told me, I'm going to need you to go out there and tell people, follow me, listen to me, and stop doing the devil work. Yeah. And I, I really forgot about the dream. I forgot I even, that even happened. My yeah. mother had just reminded me about that today. Wow. See, the see that's the thing. Like he come into he comes and send messages through people. And that's why I tell people pay attention to your dreams because your dreams is messages. It may not always um uh, relate closely to you or could be could be actually a, a, a resemblance of um or a sign for you, but it could be a sign to somebody else that's close to you from a distance that you may come in path with and that you would never know that he just using you as the vessel to be able to send that message. And that's the thing, because even like I always say, COVID was a sign. COVID was a sign for him to sit people down, to have people stay still. Because he see, like you say, the de all the devil work and all the devil shit that was going on that was transpiring on this earth. He's like, oh, no, y'all are going crazy down here. I don't know what's going on. I've been sending signs. I've been sending messages. I've been trying to sit there and give signals, but y'all annoying it like the plague. So guess what? Here you go. And that's exactly what he did. And I'm telling you, nobody don't take this time to either get close to him, study him, get to know who he is and who he are and have him in your heart. Baby, you missing out on something. Not we not sit here to, to push anything on nobody, but at the same time, we are here to say that believe in something. It ain't gotta be God, it could be something because, like I always say, right. he is only his one creator. We all out of different religions just call him by a different name and believe him in him in a different way. Other than that, he's only one. He just go by many, 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 many names. So yeah. my thing is you just need to get to even if you don't believe in a Believe in something, a higher power. Believe in something. Right. Follow, follow a God, something has something to follow you. Follow yourself or your spirit or your soul, something. Because listen, you already see we lost 200, over 250,000 people. And girl, what? What, about two, three, four months? Yep. 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 And, and we're about to have a whole different wave of oh, different. Come on. This, and then it's about to be even more treacherous. With the fact that this COVID that they call it COVID is not even COVID. They don't even know what the fuck to call it because they have no name to it. Right. It has a whole different type of symptoms than what the average COVID was actually providing or giving people to sit there losing the taste buds, losing, losing your smell. You know what I'm saying? Having chills, feeling freezing. Like, come on. And then you don't know you walking around with a regular cold, a flu, or COVID. Or something even worse than that. Allergies, right? So my thing is, people need to get to know who he is. And listen, we got ample amount of time to be able to research, to study. First of all, don't say you ain't got the book because there's multiple tools or apps on your phone where Apple, Motorola, Samsung, all these people that's technology created these devices that we pay thousands and thousands and thousands for. You got a, you got you got a smartphone. You got a book right there in your hand. Download it. Read it. You got so much more time. And this is what I always tell people do. Please start doing some affirmations every day. Do some meditation. And even if you don't work out, just walk. 
to move your to move your body and your limbs because the affirmations will end up making sure that you elevate yourself to another level. You empower your inner self and your inner two to where you need to go. The meditation is for you to be still, to end up find that clarity and that focus and for you to be able to tap into God and so you can listen to voices. The meditation is for you to stay still so he could send you the messages that you asked for through the prayers that you asked for the night before and weeks and days before. So you can't sit there and get the message through your prayer if you don't pay it, if you don't stay still. So meditation is to stay still. The, the exercise and the workout is to actually create more new endorphins through your body. Even if you don't want to work out, just walk around the damn block or even walk around your house or just stay in your kitchen or your house and just jog in place for at least 15 20 minutes that's creating that's creating new endorphins in your body so your whole blood flow from your head to the top of your brain to the bottom of your feet will get new endorphins running through which you know what that helps with for you now to actually think clearer to you right. now be clearer right remember your brain is a muscle so read a book you can't let you can't lack that either right so, but people get it together. And I feel like, especially our black and brown people, we definitely need to get it together because we've been lost for so long that we need to not only just come in unity, that I feel like that we at the point that with so much that had went on, we have decided and we I, 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 I have decided. Let me take that back. The shit that happened with so many of our brothers and sisters forced us to come in unity. And if we take their their deaths, we take their names in vain. It, it, it they they mean that they died in vain. So let's 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 sit there and represent for all the women and the men that we lost, and let's continue to live, walk and live in their legacy and make change and stay unified, not divide. That's all I gotta say. I could go deeper and deeper, and everybody know I can. <laughs> Just, just tap into to that seriously, right? <laughs> right. Hold on to that and hold on to God's unchanging hand, cause that might be the. I ain't gonna say that might be. That's gonna be the only hand that's unchanging. Mm -hmm. The only hand, cause believing in people and men, them hands change, honey. Yeah, them hands change. And let oh, me. Oh, only God has an unchanging hand. And let me say this too, because for some reason he's given this to me to say. Yes. Pray, pray over your kids. Pray okay. over your children. Guide your children to the best way that you possibly can. You don't have to do it the way how you was raised. You have to always create your own plateau of how you choose to do it. But do not, do not. Have your children walk out the door or walk in this earth on this world unprotected. Right. Without your prayer and your protection, because we are all on a high anxiety alert. Trust and believe we are, but don't let them go out there bare naked without prayer. And please do your best to raise your children as the best way you can to respect authority, even though they don't respect us. But two wrongs don't make a right. Have them respect the authority. Please keep them prayed up and keep protection on them. And not only that, please sit there and make sure they become the best that they possibly be. Because we all have potential. We all was tapped with a gift. We all was created and built with the gift. Don't let it go a waste. Do not. Please. Right. So. Because when, when my mother said what she said, I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know COVID happened after you had that dream. COVID happened at least a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. But that's how you, because it was like, I didn't do my job. I didn't do my job because he sent me on a detail and he was like, he came to me. Yeah. Tell people this. And I was just like, okay. Woke up, cried about it. It's hysterical. You would have thought that somebody was coming after me. 
that's how bad I was crying in a dream. Yeah. But by the time I went back to sleep and woke up and I got dressed and I went to work, I was back to normal again. Like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. I hadn't told anybody. And then people just start dying and dying and dying. And I was just like, well, people had to start believing in God. People just got to start putting in trust. But I didn't really put the word out there like I should have. So I guess that's why God says, you know what? Call me and Ashley. Y'all need to go ahead and create this podcast. Because your word is obviously not getting out far enough than what I told you. Yeah. Now, Because, you know, at that time when I had a dream, be honest, me and you wasn't even speaking at that time. We I- were talking mm-hmm. i don't know what it was but it whatever it was it was god and he was like clump clump mm-hmm. let's go y'all too let's put it together go yeah enough is enough yeah you can exactly. pick your friends but you can't really you cannot pick your family members but you definitely could pick your friends that's you true. stop talking to your friends like y'all ain't fucking with that bitch no more that chick no more or that dude anymore <laughs> but when it's a purpose and stuff like that, because everybody know, like me and you, like we click, like we we, we ace, we ace and boom, boom, period, <laughs> <laughs> period. And everybody know that whatever Ashley and Kwame going on, got going on, let Ashley and Kwame here do that shit. Exactly. We can't do it with that. Exactly. Fuck that. That's them. But. <laughs> Whatever it at that time, it was just like I was silent. I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't get his message out there. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you today on November the 20th, 2020. Mm. And that's crazy. It's 1120, is 1120, 2020. That's crazy. 2020. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, my name is Ashley Brown. Whatever it is, whatever voodoo, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it quite for the ass. I ain't going to sugarcoat it for him. I ain't going to sugarcoat it for him. I'm going to tell him how it really is. Yes, yeah, tell it. Say exactly how it's coming on your spirit. Whatever devil stuff that y'all doing, the devil, it ain't working no more. It's not working, y'all. It's not working. Because people like me, I'm a saint, yo. I, I, I'm on the line with God. I'm like, yeah, whatever father that you need me to do, whatever it is, I'm here for you. I'm on that line. I'm in that number. Mm-hmm. I'm in that number. I'm letting you know. And listen, we curse. Yes, we do. We curse. <laughs> I'm not an angel. I'm not your angel. Okay. So yes, I do curves. I do too. And I'm proud of it. Sorry. It ain't gonna change. It's right. It's gonna get worse as I get older. Yes, I do sin. We all do. I do things that I should not do. We but all I'm do. That <laughs> now let you know whatever it is that you doing and you know it ain't right, it don't work no more. It's it's done. It's over with. Mm-hmm. And we got the second wave of COVID coming more serious than the first, more, more serious than the first phase. More serious. Get in your Bible, get in your Quran, whatever book it is that you believe in. I don't, if you're Jewish, Catholic, I don't care what it is. Because at the end of the day, we all one and the same. We worship the same God. We just worship him in different ways. Yes. We just have different religions. That's all. And some of us don't even have a religion, but we know it's a God. Amen. Some of us don't even even follow a certain religion, but we know there's a God. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, I'm going to need you to follow him. That's it. Just just, just follow him. I need you to pray a little more. When you feeling lost, you need to get on your knees. You need to ask God. Stop trying to stop trying to keep stuff around that's not for you. Yeah. Stop doing that. Girl, come on. Boy, Jesus. You're so much happier. You're gonna be so much happier with when when you finally let it go. Mm-hmm. It's for you no more. Yeah. It's that 
that date expired. Exactly. Stop holding on expired, expired situations. Yes. We don't even drink expired milk. Exactly. So why would we still be dealing with expired men? And or relationships, even in friendship, family ships, whatever it is, it just you should not be holding on because it's you done. always want to keep your peace and your happiness at all times. And right. then, and then not only this, for people that sit there and say, "Let me just tap in this," because I know I used to get people saying, "I don't know how to pray." There's no, there's no technique to praying. Pray right. is only a conversation that you're having with him. That's all it is. If you choose to sit at the edge of your bed, at the tip of the corner of your bed, if you decide to get on your knees because something is a, pulling you in that direction for you to drop down, because let me tell you something, there's been times when, baby, I was pulled down and I had to drop to my knees. Right. But even if you're on your knees, even if you're standing in your window, you're standing somewhere in your kitchen watching dishes. This time I wash dishes, I'm still talking to him. I'm praying him. Like, we come from a praying background grandmother where, listen, baby, she was standing over her kitchen sink, her stove, and we sit there be like, would you talking to yourself? She like, no, I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for my family. I'm praying for us. So, listen. If somebody walk in and hear think you talking to yourself, let them think whatever they want to think. At the end of the day, you having that conversation with him. And right. it's between much you and him. So it's not a technique to pray. It's just a conversation that you have it. And you can have it wherever you at in your you can even have it in your car, driving to work, coming home, in traffic. I don't care. Just do it. Period. Right. It's not a hard thing. So for people that did always will reach out to me and say, I don't know how to pray or how do you do that? I don't have the technique. It's just a, just a thing. Ain't just, no such thing. No, just talk. That's it. Talk. Know who he created. God, and, you are. He, he knows, knows your heart. How to pray. He knows that. So all you got to do is just talk to him. He know, okay, well, Sierra don't know how to pray. Keisha don't know how to pray, but she talking to me. Exactly. It, it don't even matter. Like you don't even have, that's not something that you sit down. It ain't no, no book on how to pray. As long as you know who God is and you sitting down, you talking to him. That's all that matters. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, that's all that matters. And you know, what's crazy that we even talking about this because one of my good friends, I had told you about him. I don't want to say his name, but he was having, you know, with this a, even the conversation, a situation with his girlfriend. I guess they've been for a long time, but no longer together. He reached out to me. He was like, he called me his sis, so I called my bro. He was like, sis, what, what do you, um, what you think, or what's your take on baptism, or if I should get baptized? I say, do it, do it. All you doing is read that. If you haven't been baptized before, just do it. And if that's something that your spirit is have put in you, something put in your spirit that you feel in this way, follow that lead, follow that direction. Don't fight it. That's the thing. A lot of people fight when they get these messages. Right. And even if, you, if you, even if you have been baptized before, all you're doing is just rededicating yourself. That's all it is. So when he said that, I was like, absolutely. I'm so for that. Because you all you're doing is rededicating yourself. And you feel like this a new wave of something fresh need to come over you. Go do it. Go do it. There's people that still doing it, even during, during this COVID. They still know how to mask and protect up and stay the, the distance and clean and safe. Just do it. Seriously. And I'm telling you, because sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need a recharge. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing wrong with a recharge, a rededication, a, re a revival. That's where revivals come from. You need that revival. Right. And it's okay with that. And it's okay because he knows that each and every season is different. And we go through different emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual seasons. And sometimes it can just pile up on you to the fact that, you know what? We need a revival. We need a recharge. We need a, right. re a refocus. And it's okay. Listen, and, and do it. Right. And for the ones that don't believe, it, it's okay if you don't believe, but find something to believe in. Right. 
find something to believe. You know what? I didn't, I don't think I told you before. I remember a couple of years ago when I was going with K, and um, they had this Christmas thing during Christmas time, right about this time of the season in East Orange at this beautiful, beautiful big church. You probably know it because you rode past it probably many times. And they had set up this thing where it was like each room had a different type. It was like you was walking through a con, like not a concert, but walking through each type of um, situation in the Bible. Each room of the whole church was set up. And see, I didn't even know this part until we was waiting to our turn because they only had allowed 12 in the groups to go through the whole ma the maze or whatever. So I told them to put Faison in there because we get to this point because they had one room where there was the devil. They had whoever did whoever did these people makeup and costume, point, on point, because that guy looked like he was the straight devil. Wow. Then we went in from the devil. We kept, we went through scene. They had a scene where the well, young boy got shot. He was on the ground. They had a real ambulance, everything. That changed phase on whole life. Then they got to the scene after going through the different life experiences. You know, they, they were transforming what happened to with the kids in the community. community. So the boy got shot. He ended up from one scene. We went to the hospital bed in the emergency room. And yes, his mother was there crying. Parents, doctor came in, said he was passed, he was gone. It was like we was watching a real life situation, but it was all a great performance. It was just basically putting you in that end of what people yeah. go through every day in life. Yeah, yeah. But at the end scene was we end up meeting God. And whoever they picked to play God, baby, when he opened his mouth, you know the that that guy, what's his name? Earl Jones with the deep woo or either my cousin what's um that playing in high school, high, whatever, the principal. Girl, when this man opened his mouth, I swear I thought that was God in front of me. They had the smoke, he was dressed all in this white Chris Knight suit. And he sat there and I, like I say, I had them. Called Faison name, put Faison in the book. See, he they called five kids. He was like, Faison Martin. <laughs> wow. Yo, my son looked at me like, I say, go. He calling you. So each kid, and you know, those of you, that's what Faison was challenged at. Challenging at the time. I don't like to say B-A-D. I don't like to say that word. Right. But at that time, that's when he was a little off the rockers and G B N, you know, active, put it that way. So <laughs> all five of kids standing in front of him because he actually had like the little, the pool thing on um, the table, everything. Like he had the book. And he said, I see. He was like, let me see if I see your name in my book. For you to see if you could be at a come girl so then but of course they names but he said none of y'all names are in my book so you are to go back to the earth but make sure you're on your p's and q's make sure you are representing me right make right. sure that you sit in there doing everything your mother says you need to do because if you disrespect your mother you shorten your days right yo he was laying it on them thick Girl, but I think every that? child need that experience, and I, I don't know if they still do it, but they need to bring that back. What they really, that? really do. Because me, me and that person went by ourselves first just to see, and then we brought him with us the next time, the next oh, day. I know what. Okay. But girl, that's a true live experience that I feel like that we live in every day. But the thing is, sometimes you know how when you be you live in a, you, the um a urban community. You how you hear ambulance or the police sirens, we don't jump no more because we numb to it. So that's how I feel like living in society in this world, you numb to all the bullshit. I think the only thing we're not numb to is the fact when the police do something stupid and fuck us over. Then we woke up. But let's not wake up, fall asleep, and then wake back up when something else happened. Let's stay woke. Right. Period. Because trust and believe, they're on the other side of the tracks. They staying woke. They not sleeping. They getting their shit together, and they keeping that shit locked. So we need to keep our shit locked. 
And we have been, and my thing is, let's go back how grandma days back in the day, how they used to do it. They used to be united. They used to stay together. They used to stay at one. They used to be on one alignment and one accord. Let's keep that. Let's not lose focus, people. Right. Period. Black and brown. Let's not lose it. But also, just we know who he is. If you don't have one, you don't know who he is. Get to know him because he's an amazing God. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Are you mute? No, I'm actually talking. I don't hear you. Why? I don't know. Can you hear me? I can. <laughs> I cannot hear you. Not at all? <laughs> Let me see something. But yeah, so. But definitely, um, that's, listen, this is a message that this needed to become out there. It actually touched. You could hear me? Oh, you. it actually touched, um, you know, Ashley's spirit, and by her just talking about it, it touched mine. And listen, anyone that knows me knows I could go deep. I could go deeper than what I went on to the, on this podcast tonight. However, listen, I'm just going to end up spe sp spoon feeding you guys just a little bit of what it is that you just need to know. But just tap into your inner self. Like I said, do some um, some meditation. Work, exercise, workout, just move your body. And if you don't, you're not the type of person to work out, do some affirmations. You know what I'm saying? Elevate your mind, your body, your soul, your 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 spirit. Please do. Read a book. We got ample amount of time for us to do what we need to do and for us to end up being the best version of ourselves and for us to be able to get it right. Because this whole COVID, this whole Corona and this second wave that's coming, listen, it's a wake up call. And if nobody don't believe in it, that's, that's each his own. We understand. Cool. That's what you need to do. But all I can say is everybody keep yourself safe. When you keep yourself safe, you keep other people safe and alone and you wash your hands and do what you need to do because there's people that have elders wiser ones, people that have family members that have preconditioned situations that they need to take care of and protect and who they truly care about if you don't care about yours. But my thing is, please stay safe, you guys. Please read the book. Please read a book. Do, do some um, meditation, do some affirmation, do some exercise, do something. Make sure, just do something. My thing is, no one should not come out on the other side of this whole virus situation being the same have the same mental spirit physical emotional you you shouldn't even be in the same place that you were seven eight months ago you should be at a different place so now chapter two Phase two of this corona is about to begin. So now you should be now about to elevate to the second phase of elevation of self love, care, and, um, oh Lord, self love, care, as well as elevation. And so just make sure that you end up basically doing that because that's what we all need to do. So no one should be sitting here still at the same level you was months ago period if you are at the same level that you was months ago then that means that you ain't doing something right you can hear me mm -hmm. okay can you hear me no <laughs> but get but get hate <laughs> I guess the devil said he was going to shut me up for the rest of the night but I'll be back tomorrow
Okay. So, yeah. This end is the name pretty much got the answer because every time I come in, nobody can hear. Okay. Okay, so basically we're just going